Hello, fellow pot lovers. Today, I'm going to use something besides the pot. A sheet pan. This is a recipe I got from Melissa Clark. Um, she's a uh, food writer for the some newspaper, uh, what's it? the New York Times. She also has a podcast, and I found this recipe on SplendidTable.org after listening to her podcast. It's really a simple, tasty way to do potatoes with leeks and chicken. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you how to do it. For this recipe, we're gonna need one and a half pounds of bone-in skin on chicken thighs, one and a quarter pounds of Yukon Gold potatoes, three teaspoons of kosher salt, three quarters of a teaspoon of fresh ground pepper, two tablespoons of harissa, a half a teaspoon of ground cumin, four and a half tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, two leeks, the white and green parts, halved lengthwise, rinsed and thinly sliced into half moons, a half a teaspoon of grated lemon zest, a third of a cup of plain yogurt, one small garlic clove, one cup of mixed soft fresh herbs, such as dill, parsley, mint, and or cilantro leaves, and then fresh lemon juice. I don't like to peel my potatoes, especially when they have such light skin, so I just leave the skin on. We combine the chicken and potatoes in a large bowl. I'm cutting the potato into eighths. I think they, these will be small enough so that they will roast thoroughly in the time it takes to cook the chicken. It's probably more than one and a half pounds, probably more like two and a half pounds. I like potatoes. I think they're gonna fit on the sheet pan. If they don't, I won't use them all. Season them with two and a half teaspoons of the salt and half a teaspoon of the pepper. And I don't know how you tell half a teaspoon when you're grinding. So I'm just gonna grind until I'm happy. In a small bowl, whisk together the harissa. I was gonna buy this, but we had it in the refrigerator. It's been there for years. Cumin and three tablespoons of the olive oil. This olive oil comes direct from Italy. I got it from a friend of mine, Bob and his wife Jody have their own olive trees. This is freshly pressed a month ago. Pour this mixture over the chicken and potatoes and toss to combine. Let it stand at room temperature for 30 minutes. I didn't know this about leeks. Never really used them before. When you cut off the front and back end, you split them lengthwise. This is where all the dirt gets. It's like getting under the fingernails of the leeks. So you need to rinse it off. Then in a medium bowl, combine the leeks, lemon zest, a quarter teaspoon of the salt, and the remaining one and a half tablespoons of olive oil. Now I prepare my baking sheet with some canola oil cooking spray. Helps prevent it from sticking. And then I'm gonna preheat the oven to 425. My oven is now up to temperature, so I'm going to add the chicken and potatoes to the sheet pan. And the secret is to spread them out so there's a single layer. I think I'll put the skin side up and add it to the oven. And set the timer for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, I'll add the leeks. Okay, the chicken and potatoes have been cooking for 20 minutes on the sheet. Now I'm going to add the leeks. I don't know if you can see how the chicken is browning up and the potatoes are browning. Another 20, 25 minutes, we should be good. I make my own yogurt in the Instant Pot using the cold start method. The recipe calls for a third of a cup of yogurt. I'm gonna use a half a cup. And then a great clove of garlic. I've cut the ends off and peeled the papery outer skin off. Grate the garlic clove over the yogurt and season with the remaining quarter teaspoon of salt and quarter teaspoon of pepper. Our timer is going off. Now we can look and see what we've got. Oh man, that looks pretty good. I do say so myself. We spoon on our yogurt sauce. After we apply the yogurt sauce, then we just sprinkle on the fresh herbs. In this case, parsley that we had growing by a window. Drizzle some olive oil and lemon juice over the top. Yeah, the juice from one lemon. That's it, ready to serve.